This is our solution on RV leveling pad. When we first got our RV, nobody really talked to us about leveling pads. We did some research and we saw that there were some plastic square ones. There were some rubber square ones for sale on Amazon and at RV stores. And there were also these like curved ones. Uh, we went a while without having any RV leveling pads and we always were looking for the most level spot we could find. Uh, we finally had some situations where we had to have them. It was absolutely necessary. Uh, and we started off with some wood blocks at first. We really had some problems with the wood blocks. They were slippery. Uh, some of the wood broke down over time, over really a short period of time when it got wet, expanded, froze, all those things that can happen to wood. So then we started looking at it for a new solution. And we came across some blogs on the internet that had explained using horse stall mats uh, for RV leveling pads. The best place to get horse stall mats is at Tractor Supply. So we're here at Tractor Supply. This is a great place to get your horse stall mats. Uh, they come in two sizes, a three foot by four foot, and they're about go for about twenty dollars as you can see, and they're half an inch tall. Uh, this is the one we used and we would recommend. Uh, we've also seen, seen some other people online use the bigger ones. These are four by six and three quarters of an inch thick. These are almost always made in Canada. Uh, another reason why we like the uh, little bit smaller ones is they're grooved. You can see them in here. They're grooved on the back. And that'll like help you from sliding around a little bit. Oh, yeah, yeah. And where these ones are just kind of a different texture. It doesn't have those like nice big grooves to grip the ground. We went with the three foot by four foot uh, by half inch thick uh, horse stall mat from Tractor Supply. It was $20 on sale. Uh, pretty good deal considering when we've looked up to buy these, we saw a set at Walmart. I think they were 12 inches by 12 inches by half inch thick for two pads and it was like $40. It was unbelievable and it appeals to be the same type of rubber. So uh, we got, I, I don't have the full mat with me. I already have cut it up, but uh, this is what I ended up with. They are, I cut the mat uh, basically into eight inch by 12 inch sections. I used a utility knife to score it uh, all the way down. I measured out the whole grid I wanted to cut then use the utility knife to score it and then I came back uh, with a hacksaw, just a regular old hacksaw and cut it. Uh, so pretty simple hand tools, it took me about 20-30 minutes. It is some hard work, you got to pull up on the mat uh, as you're cutting it and if you need to go back over and score it again you can. But they actually cut pretty easily with those two tools. But I ended up with 12 of these blocks here, as you'll see, uh, the 8 inch by 12 inch. And then I, I kept three double size mats, so it'll be 16 inches by 12 inches. Uh, I like these, I kept three of them. If you scan over here uh, on the RV right now, the setup we have is I put, usually put down one base mat um, of the bigger mat I have, the eight inch by 12 inch, and then I use the, uh, or the 16 inch, correction, 16 inch by 12 inch, then I use these to get me more height. Uh, so with these, it's nice, so we needed about an inch and a half in this site. We've gone all the way up to about three inches on each side and been fine. Uh, I think I can go up a total of uh, about four and a half inches, and these things have been really good. The grip on the bottom, the grooves on the bottom really grips the ground well, and the RV sits really nicely on these. I've also used them on some of my stabilizers here, as you see. If the ground isn't as level or it's kind of tore up, uh, they work really well under there. Overall, we've been really happy with these horse stall mats. Uh, they seem to hold up uh, over time. Uh, they're easy to transport. I just put them in the back of my truck. Uh, the grease or anything wipes off of them. They're really heavy duty. You know, they're meant for horses, uh, shoot horses to walk on. So I don't think a truck or anything I can come up with is really going to tear them up. And for $20, you can't beat the price. All the other leveling pads out there are more than $20. Some of them go up to $80. It's really ridiculous when you start looking at RV industry stuff sometimes. Prices go through the roof. Let me know what you use to level your RV. Uh, and if you want to try this, I'll put links below uh, to the tractor supply horse stall mats. Really, there seems to be tractor supplies all over the place. Usually we find it a pretty good place to fill up our propane. They usually have a pretty decent price. And uh, we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. Check us out on Facebook and Instagram and stay tuned for more adventures of Live the Odyssey.